We welcome you inside the Walker Convocation Center here on the campus of West Virginia State University as Video Productions proudly presents Mountain East Conference men's basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State. And tonight, Brian Poor's crew going up against the Fighting Falcons of Fairmont State should be a great basketball game. Fairmont State coming in number two in the league and State coming in at number four. State is 13-5 and five on the season. They've won eight straight. They're eight and three in the league. And Fairmont State comes in 15-2 and two and 10-2 and two in the league. Greetings from the Walker Convocation Center along with our great video productions crew. I'm Mark Martin. Delighted to have you with us here from inside the Walker Convocation Center as we get set for this matchup. Tim Canning bringing his Fairmont State Fighting Falcons into this showdown against Brian Poor's Yellow Jackets. So two great programs, and it should be a lot of fun. Let's talk about some of the players that we will see in this game here tonight and for West Virginia State of course it starts with Glenn Abram outstanding performer averaging 18.8 a game and Anthony Pittman who averages 15.3 a game for the Yellow Jackets two of the better players in the conference and we look forward to seeing them here tonight and you talk about Fairmont and you got Isaiah Sanders coming in averaging 21.8 points a game, and Cole Von Handorf, he has an average of 16.2 points per game. Briggs Paris averages 11.3 points a game. And Zion Dobbs, a product of Fairmont, and he averages 15.2 points per game. So both teams getting the warm-ups in and just about set to go. Brian Poor in his 23rd season. Tim Canning in his third season at Fairmont. He's assisted by Devin Heath Granger, Lester Raines, Marcus Reed. On that coaching staff for Brian Poor, along with Earl Reed. So both teams making their way to the respective benches. And we get set to bring you basketball action here between Fairmont and West Virginia State. We'll break away, come back, and tip it off. Fairmont and West Virginia State getting set to do battle in a Mountain East Conference showdown on video productions. Biscuit World, we use the freshest ingredients in our made from scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter, hot and fresh biscuits, made from scratch gravy. Now that's a meal served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only $9.99. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday.
LG Rewards Card. A way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them Hugs sent you. State 15 and 2, 10 and 2 in the Mountain East Conference. State 13 to 5, 8 and 3 in the league. This is the 99th meeting between these two programs. Fairmont, and of course, that rich history under the great Joe Retton, lead the all time series 73 25. Fairmont ranked number seven in the National Association of Basketball Coaches Poll and the Falcons in the top 25 of the Division II Sports Information Directors Association Basketball Poll at number 16. To my left here tonight, calling Fairmont Radio, Travis Jones, one of the best in the business. Great to have him in the Walker Convocation Center. Great to have this. A wonderful Fairmont State program with, again, so much history and, of course, a lot of great history here at West Virginia State. All you have to do is look up there at the banner of the great Earl Lloyd and company and Bucket and State is on the board first here inside the Walker Convocation Center. Great to have you along here on Video Productions. Noah Jordan averaging 10.8 a game, and he gets the first hoop of this contest. Zion Dobbs started his career at James Madison before transferring to his hometown school and from the outside, and is Cole Von Handorf. Look forward to watching him tonight, averaging 16.2 a game. Von Handorf out of Covington, Kentucky, played at Covington Catholic. We've got a quick 30 second time out here in the opening minute of play. Brian Poor in his 23rd season. Again, Tim Caning is in his third season. Again, State has reeled off eight wins in a row and it all started in the Aloha State. They beat Hawaii Pacific 76 74 and then knocked number 11 Embry Riddle off 84 69. And since then, Wins over West Virginia Wesley and Davis and Elkins, Notre Dame, Alderson, Broadus, Glenville State College, and this past Saturday beat rival UC 86 75. Von Handorf, who is coming off a 28 point effort and went over Frostburg on Saturday, 97 89 was the trigger on this offensive set for 
the Fighting Falcons. Shot up and it's going to go through for Seth Yunkin. Yunkin number 32, 6'7", junior, Connellsville, Pennsylvania. Dobbs in the lane. Fairmont whips it around and trying to maneuver in there, George Mangus. State denied him and a shot by Jones. Won't go, but a nice tap in by Jeremiah Moore for his first hoop of the game. Jeremiah Moore averaging 12.7 a contest. Moore from West Orange, New Jersey. Dobbs flying through there. Can't get it to go. And a rebound yanked away by Pittman. Four two game. Von Handorf has it, guarded by Abram. Two of the best in the business of MEC men's basketball right there up against each other. Ball out of bounds and keep it right here on the Fairmont end. Von Handorf will send it in. Here's Dobbs, and then Isaiah Sanders has it. Now Mangus on the move. Back to Dobbs. Sanders trying to maneuver here as the shot clock about to expire. State's basketball at the 17.06 mark. Wayne Jones. And here is Pittman rifling from the outside. Couldn't get it to go. Now Jones on the baseline. Into the hands of Jordan who triggers and connects. Jordan has five early points. A nice pass there and Pittman comes from behind and bats away the pass by Mangus. Another look at Jordan knocking it through. So Mangus will come out and Briggs Paris, 6'5", senior. Transfer from UVA Wise from Broomsmill, Virginia. He is into the game and driving in is Sanders scoring and there's a foul called. Jordan picks up his first and that will be team foul number one on state. And Briggs Paris will go to the line, 91% free throw shooter. Up and in by Sanders. Think it a 7-5 game. Wayne Jones, out they go to Noah Jordan. Jordan in trouble, gets it to Jones. Jones on the move and the ball out of bounds. Four going to be showing on the shot clock here. Abram sending it in, try to get it to Jordan and Fairmont comes out of there with it. Here's Sanders down the floor. Sanders will score. So Sanders ties it up here at seven. He has five of Fairmont's early seven points. Anthony Pittman 
Left of the key. Nice rebound there by Jordan. Back to Pittman. Wants to try a three again. Tried one earlier, and this one will go through. Isaiah Pittman knocks it down, his 14th three-pointer of the season. 10-7 game here. Seth Yunkin, nice pass there to Von Handorf, who will be fouled by Pittman. Now check that. I usually wait on my calls. <laughs> there is the Pittman three-pointer. So Von Handorf picks up his first personal. Each team with a foul here early on. Driving off the glass and in for Jeremiah Moore. Moore averaging 12.7 a game. He has four here in the opening five minutes. On Handorf over to Sanders. Now Briggs Paris going to drive and stop and shoot. Nice looking play there by Briggs Paris. Senior averaging 11.3 a game. Here's Jones from the free throw circle straight away, and Jordan battled for the rebound, and he's going to be whistled for the foul, and that's going to be number two on Noah Jordan. Another look there at Briggs. Perez hitting for two. It's a three-point lead for West Virginia State. Breaking the action here from the Walker Convocation Center. You're watching exciting Mountain East Conference. Ben's basketball featuring West Virginia State on video productions. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. That's right. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. I got the West Side Youth Basketball team in the house tonight here at the Walker Convocation Center. Big win over South Hills on Sunday and getting treated to Mountain East Conference basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State and the Fighting Falcons of Fairmont. Well, you just think about these programs down through the years. Of course, I had the pleasure back in the day of calling some games when Craig Kars was here at State and Old Fleming Hall. And, and, of course, what can you say about Fairmont with many great coaches? And, of course, the greatest of all, Joe Retton. Son Dave, successful high school coach at Fairmont Senior. On Handorf, fires it in here. No doubt Tim Caning wants to get that young man going. And how about this from way outside? Briggs, Paris knocks it down. Paris with five, and we're tied at 12. Wow. 43rd three-pointer of the season for Briggs, Paris. Glenn Abram hits the score here, and he draws a crowd. Here is Anthony Pittman looking for a second three of the game. Dobbs snagged the rebound, so Fairmont State here. Looking for its first lead, and Dobbs can't get it to go. 
Pittman comes out of there with it. Glides down the floor, so athletic. Abram, straight away, three-pointer, and connects. Lynn Abram puts State back in the lead. 30 three-pointers on the season for the native out of Chicago, the 6'2 graduate student. What a player he has been here in this league. Another attempt here by Riggs Parrish. Couldn't get that one to go, but Sanders with the ball. And he couldn't get it to drop, but another opportunity for Fairmont. And Yunkin will put it through. Yunkin with four points. Dwayne Jones off to Anthony Pittman from the wing. Rattles around and... Gets the bounce, and it falls through 15. 17-14 game here. Five in the game for Pittman. And Sanders launching. Can't get it to drop. Wayne Jones over to Anthony Pittman. This time he'll attack, pull up, and swish it from the free throw line. Seven early in the contest for Anthony Pittman, who came in averaging 15.3. 6 5 sophomore. Played right here in the Canal Valley at Capitol High School. Briggs Paris. Another good look there from the Three-point line, couldn't get it to go. Abram launching and connecting Glenn. Abram now with two threes. And State out to a 22-14 advantage. One hand, Orff has yet to score, trying to get on the board, but couldn't get it to go there. Anthony Pittman, no look, pass. Shot up and no good, but Jeremiah Moore will be fouled. What a pass by Anthony Pittman. So Seth Yunkin will commit the foul. That's his first. And that's going to be team foul number two. Jeremiah Moore will go to the line. He has four in the game, 65.2% free throw shooter. Rolls around. And goes through. Mangus is back in, and Dobbs will check out for the Falcons as Moore puts this shot up and going to have a foul called on. Bradley Lewis, I believe. Oh, check that. I guess we had a lane violation. So Jeremiah Moore is out, and Bradley Lewis has checked in for Stady. Where's number 45? He's a native of Chicago, averages 6.3 a game. Nice pass down low, and the dunk. Beautiful pass from Paris. Gets it to Yunkin, who has six. 23 to 16, our score. Abram shot off the mark. And how about that pass a moment ago by Paris and try to make another great pass there to Mangus. State comes away with it. Well, that was pretty easy as Lewis was spotted by Abram, and Lewis puts it in. 25-16, 25-16, advantage. Nice pass down low. Mangus maneuvering and puts up the shot. It goes through, and a foul going to be called. Bradley Lewis tried to give him one a minute ago. He has one now. He's got three in the game. So that will put 
Mangus at the line. Mangus is a 73.9% free throw shooter. So Lewis is out. Moore is back in. Ernest Jenkins, number three. Number five, Jeremiah Moore. Number 12, Dwayne Jones. Anthony Pittman. Number 23, and Glenn Abram. Where's that number zero? Taken away by the Falcons, Mangus, trying to get his teammate Sanders, who is trailing the ball, and it goes out of bounds. And we've got a break here in the Walker Convocation Center, West Virginia State 25 and Fairmont 19. Beautiful pass to Yunkin back in a moment here in Institute. LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them hugs sent you. At Tudor's Biscuit World, we use the freshest ingredients in our made-from-scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter, hot and fresh biscuits, made-from-scratch gravy. Now that's a meal served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only $9.99. West Virginia State huddled. Fairmont has returned to the floor. Now do the Jackets, who lead it 25-19. Great to have you along here as Video Productions proudly presents... Mountain East Conference men's basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State entertaining the Falcons from the friendly city of Fairmont here tonight. Anthony Pittman with seven points. Glenn Abram with six. Noah Jordan has five for State. Seth Yunkin leading the way for Fairmont with six. And Briggs Paris has five. Glenn Abram and Cole. Von Handorf battling there, and boy, flick of the wrist by Ernest Jenkins out of the upper Marlboro, Maryland. Couldn't get it to drop. Fairmont with the basketball. Zion Dobbs, 6'4", 200-pound junior. Father Dion, great player, and Sanders... Let one fly from three-point range. Vermont has made just one three-pointer in seven attempts. Abram looking for a third. Nice rebound by Dobbs. State has knocked down four threes in the game. Got a whistle and a foul. To go on Anthony Pittman. That will be his first, and that will be team foul number four. On the Yellow Jackets. Mangus has checked out and into the game. Kyle Whippen, number 22, 6'7, 200 pound sophomore out of Washington, D.C., started his college career at Cal PA. Whippen has the basketball. Zips the pass to Dobbs off the glass. Nice pass to Whippen with a nice assist. He came into the game. 2.6 assists per contest and a big one right there. Makes it a four-point game as Dobbs scored it. Jeremiah Moore working against Whippen. Now Anthony Pittman with the ball. Between the circles, picked up there by Briggs Paris. And 
So athletic is Pittman, but he couldn't get that one to drop. Now it's a five on four at the moment. Driving, Sanders scoring, and a foul called. Sanders has seven in the game. Free throw coming. Zion Dobbs with a nice pass there, and Sanders. Foul was on Ernest Jenkins, that's his first. So Sanders at the line. In the 89% free throw shooter. He started his college career at Notre Dame with Tim Koenig, so called his coach to Fairmont and knocks it through. He has eight, and that makes it a one-point game. State was up by as many as nine, 23 to 14. Jeremiah Moore from just inside the free throw line. Rattles out. Zion Dobbs, a nice bouncer there to Sanders. Scramble for the ball. Good job by Jenkins. Here comes Anthony Pittman on the attack, and he will take it with authority and score it. Pittman with nine in the game, 27-24. Zion Dobbs to Sanders. Pulls up with a hand in his face and buries it. Jenkins rifles in the three. 30 to 26, five three-pointers here for State in this first half. Again, Fairmont with just one. Ron Handorf came in averaging 16.2. Outstanding player, Yunkin. With under six and a half to go now. Shot clock is at three. Yunkin with the big step and got it to go. Yunkin has eight first half points and will head to the free throw line. Glenn Abram pleading his case as he was called for the foul. Six team fouls here on West Virginia State in this first half. Bouncing around, and Yunkin gets it to go. That's the shooter's roll. 30 to 29. Lynn Abram wheels around. Jones driving, knocking it off the glass and in. Jones on the board with his first two. Fouls on Sanders, his first. Isaiah Sanders, team foul number three on the Falcons. Jones looking to convert the three-point play. Got a question for the officiating crew. Okay, they had said it was on Sanders, so it's on one, not ten. So Zion Dobbs picks up the foul. Shot won't go for Dwayne Jones. And Von Handorf. Miscommunication there between Von Handorf and Von Handorf. It would have been kind of hard for the foul to be on Sanders, <laughs> he wasn't in the game. Dobbs is out of the game now. Sanders back in. Here is Jones driving. Can't get it to fall. Sanders comes out of there with it. Zips the pass over to 
Briggs Paris who hits a three and is fouled. Second three of the game for Briggs Paris who has both from behind the arc for the Fighting Falcons. Foul was on Ernest Jenkins, his second. Team foul number seven on the Yellow Jackets. And we are tied at 32 with that bucket. And Fairmont. Chance to take the lead here. Briggs Paris, the three-point play. Make that the four-point play. Big swing there, 33-32. Pittman, you get it back to Pittman, and he will gun in the three, his second of the game. He has 12 in the contest and puts State back in front at 35 to 33. Yunkin looking to back in, twisting around, gets it back to Sanders, three-pointer off the mark, ball out of bounds, last touching states. Bradley Lewis. We have a break here in Institute, a good one. State on top by two on video productions. LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them hug sent you. At Tudor's Biscuit World, we use the freshest ingredients in our made-from-scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter, hot and fresh biscuits, made-from-scratch gravy. Now that's a meal served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only
And the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State. And Fairmont State, number seven in the National Association of Basketball Coaches Poll. And also in the D2 Sports Information Directors Association Poll. They come in at number 16. They've won eight in a row. State has won eight in a row. Meeting for the 99th time. Falcons lead the series 73-25. December 4th. Falcons, a second-half comeback. Picked up the victory. Isaiah Sanders had 25 points, and that put him over 1,000 for his career. Dwayne Jones, Lynn Abram. Abram's going to let it fly, and it wouldn't drop, and that's where we will stay as we hit halftime at 45 to 42. Good game here in this first half of action, and we'll return to talk about it in a moment. You are watching live streaming coverage of Mountain East Conference men's basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State here on Video Productions. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. Freshest ingredients in our made from scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter. Hot and fresh biscuits made from scratch gravy. Now that's a meal served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. 
Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only $9.99. The LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them Hugs sent you. 45-42, our score here at halftime. Vermont State and West Virginia State. Number two and four in the Mountain East Conference standings and playing some good basketball here. State had the early lead. 2-0, Fairmont tied it. State was up 7-2 and 12-7. It's a 12-12 game, a 15-12 game. State got a nine-point lead at 23-14. It's 23-16, 25-16. Fairmont closed the gap to 25-24. It was 27-24, 27-26, 26 32-29 game, a 35-33 game, and it was even at 35. Fairmont at 38, 35, then it was 38-37. And we moved on, and Fairmont has the lead at the moment, 45-42. We'll come back and talk team stats with you. In just a moment from here inside the Walker Convocation Center, Mountain East Conference basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State. You're watching live streaming coverage here on Video Productions. Freshest ingredients in our made from scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter. Hot and fresh biscuits made from scratch gravy. Now that's a meal served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only $9.99. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday.
the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them Hugs sent you. 45-42, 42 Fairmont State in the lead over West Virginia State. As Video Productions proudly presents Mountain East Conference men's basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State. Great to have you with us here. Team stats from this first half of action. Fairmont State at 48.6%, 18 of 37. State at 45.9%. State with seven three-pointers in the first half, four for the Fighting Falcons. Fairmont perfect at the line. Falcons have the rebounding edge. They've turned it over five to State's two. Been four lead changes in the game, and the score has been tied five times. Biggest lead of the game, nine by State at the 11.04 mark. Vermont State's biggest lead has been four, and at the moment it is three. Falcons out of the locker room, ready to warm up here for the second half. Brian Poor still chatting with his team. We'll come back. We'll take a look at individual numbers and get you set for second half action. We have a good one here at the Walker Convocation Center in Institute. Fairmont State leads it 45-42. You're watching live streaming coverage of Mountain East Conference men's basketball featuring West Virginia State here on Video Productions. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hugs sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. Freshest ingredients in our made from scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter. Hot and fresh biscuits. Made from scratch gravy. Now that's a meal. Served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. 
Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only $9.99. The LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. Forty-five, forty-two, Fairmont State leading West Virginia State. Brian Shepard looking all serious. <laughs> yeah, it helps run the show here at the beautiful Walker. Convocation Center, individual numbers for Fairmont State, Isaiah Sanders and Briggs Paris, each with 12. Paris nailed three three-pointers. He has three of his team's four. Seth Yunkin has 11. Zion Dobbs with four. Cole Von Handorf with a three-pointer. And George Mangus has three. Anthony Pittman leads West Virginia State with 14. Seven for Jeremiah Moore. Glenn Abram has six. Five for Bradley Lewis. And three for Ernest Jenkins. Two for Dwayne Jones. Out on the floor, yeah, Pittman, Moore. Noah Jordan, Dwayne Jones, and Glenn Abram for State. Cole Von Handorf, who will trigger it in, starts along with Zion Dobbs, George Mangus, Seth Yunkin, and Isaiah Sanders. The Costain, Jimmy Lieber, James Duke, again our officials tonight. Officials Appreciation Weekend. Division II basketball, these guys are outstanding and we couldn't do without the great officials, not only in this league, but around the country at all levels of basketball, all sports. The state with the ball after Fairmont came up empty. And Jeremiah Moore has nine in the game and whittles that Fairmont lead down to one at 45-44. George Mangus gets it to Seth Yunkin. Straight away three. Boy, beautiful shot by Mangus. Forty-eight, forty-four now. And here is Moore. He has eleven. Cole Von Handorf. Isaiah Sanders now steps back. Yunkin kept it alive in Dobbs. Got out of there somehow with it and shot wouldn't go for Sanders. A little frustrated. And now it's slapped away and whose ball will it be? Gonna have a foul called. And we'll look at the Jeremiah Moore bucket. He has State's first four points here in the second half. State with a chance here to even things. That was on Mangus, his first of the game. And that's team foul number one. One of the fighting Falcons here. in this second half. Ball flipped up and it goes through for Jordan. Collision there. Ties things at 48. Zion Dobbs. He has a back again, gets it to Sanders. 
Sanders trying to work it down low to Yunkin. Ball knocked away. Last touching the Falcons. Tim Canning had a Mountain East Conference tournament runner-up squad in the 2015-16 season. And a championship team in 2018-19. And, of course, Fairmont champs in 21. So he's had three NCAA tournament teams in his coaching career. Of course, Brian Poor, 23 years. And we'd be here all day talking about <laughs> His wonderful accomplishments here. Winfield native. So Zion Dobbs has picked up his second foul, and that's team foul number two. At the line will be Jeremiah Moore, and a chance to give State the lead, and he does. So Moore. Now with 12 and make it 13. Fifty forty eight lead for West Virginia State. Here's Zion Dobbs with it. To Seth Yunkin. Briggs Paris in the game and Briggs Paris had a great first half. A little short there on that shot out of bounds. It will be Fairmont's basketball. See a guy sitting right there in the chair in Fairmont Colors. That's Bob Cable, longtime athletic trainer at Fairmont. Wonderful guy, one of the best, and been with that program for a long, long time. 32nd year turnover, Falcons. And West Virginia State takes over and We've got a timeout here on the floor. Two-point game, State and Fairmont from the Walker Convocation Center back in a moment on Video Productions. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. That's right. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. State huddled here inside the Walker Convocation Center. The Doris W. and Walter F. Johnson III Arena. And we play this one on the Lester Reigns court. Lester Reigns, Honda, one of our great sponsors. And he is one of Coach Brian Poor's assistants. State's basketball. Anthony Pittman with it for the Yellow Jackets. Pittman has 14 in the game. Shot clock under 10 seconds. And from the outside, Dwayne Jones going to try to knock down a three. Couldn't get it to go. Boy, what a collision there on the state bench. Yunkin trying to knock it off one of state's players. He flies into the seats. 
And the seats crumble. And everyone appears to be okay, and that's the good thing. There's Yunkin, and he took a spill there and tumbled back. Great hustle and great job by State's Bencher there, kind of protecting all involved. So Anthony Pittman with the basketball, and he'll pull up left of the key. It is short. Yunkin with a big snag. Zion Dobbs brings it across for the Fighting Falcons and then attacks the glass and Boy, just could not get it to go. Boy, did exactly what he wanted to do, but just comes up short, and here's Pippen with a great no-look pass, and Jones has four in the game, and State leads by four. Oh, Von Handorf driving, dumping to Yunkin, and Pippen gets a piece of that one. Here comes Abram. Another look here at the defensive play. Mangus will check in. Dobbs heads out. Stay with the ball, looking to build on this four-point lead. Jeremiah Moore twisting and turning back out to Abram. Abram with six. Fires long range. Couldn't get it to go. Tapped around and State keeping it alive. Beautiful job by the Yellow Jackets, and Jordan finishes it off. Jordan now with six in the game. Check that. He has nine in the game. And it's a six-point state lead. And we've got a break here in Institute. Yellow Jackets up by six on the Falcons. You're watching live streaming coverage of Mountain East Conference men's basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State here on Video Productions. LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them Hugs sent you. At Tudor's Biscuit World, we use the freshest ingredients in our made-from-scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter, hot and fresh biscuits, made-from-scratch gravy. Now that's a meal served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only $9.99. Six point, West Virginia State University advantage for the Fighting Falcons of Fairmont State University. State will have Dwayne Jones, Anthony Pittman, Noah Jordan, Lynn Abram, and Jeremiah Moore out there on the floor. Fairmont working with Cole Von Handorf, Seth Yunkin, George Mangus, Briggs Paris, and Isaiah Sanders. Tight game here in Institute. Von Handorf. Driving a little too high off the glass and wouldn't go. Abram out of there with it. And here is Lewis Damore. 15 in the game for Moore and State. Out to a lead of 56 to 48. Mangus. 
Down to Von Handorf, and Von Handorf just about tied up and gets it back to Mangus. Ball loose, Abram with it. Jackets down the floor, back to Moore, flips it up and in. Tim Canning. Watching his team fall down by 10 here at 58-48. Sanders explodes to the hoop and scores. Fairmont needed that. He's got 14. Makes it, makes it down to single digits again at 58-50. Double-digit lead, but not for long for the Yellow Jackets. But they look to go back up once again. By double figures, and here is Pittman back to Jordan, and Jordan guns in the three, his second of the game. And that puts State up by 11, 61-50. Yunkin, and they're going to call... Pittman for the foul. Zion Dobbs and Brendan Paul will check in. Paul into the game for the first time. Pittman has two fouls. That's the first team foul on state in this Second half, Fairmont has two. Sixty-one fifty. Brian Poor upset with that call. Tim Canning's arguing the case that they were shooting the basketball. Now on the inbounds, they get it in, and then on Handorf, put up a shot, and he's fouled. So that's going to be on Glenn Abram. That's his second. And now team foul number two. As we see the dunk from Moore, each team with a couple of fouls here in the second half. Von Handorf at the free throw line and misses. Right now has just that three-pointer. He's an 82% free throw shooter. And could not get either to drop. And State came away with the missed shot. Jeremiah Moore. Right in front of the basket from the free throw line and connects Moore. He has 12 points here in this second half and 19 for the game. Dobbs driving in. Dobbs can't get it to go. And Yunkin tried to follow with a slam, and he's fouled. Team foul number three on state as they lead it by 13. Noah Jordan with his third, and Brian Poor going to get Bradley Lewis up off the bench. Seth Yunkin at the line. He has 11 in the game, and he knocks it down. He has 12 now. Another one coming here for Seth Yunkin out of Connellsville, Pennsylvania. 6'7", 240 pound junior, and he connects. Sixty-three, fifty-two. Dwayne Jones. From the corner, Abram, and he sticks the three-pointer. Abram has nine in the game, and they've all come 
from behind the three-point line. 66-52, biggest lead of the game, and Lewis nearly came away with that one. On Handorf, turns around in the lane and scores. And that's just that young man's second field goal. We really hope to get him going here. 66-54, and we have a timeout here on the court. And we break away here in Institute between State and Fairmont. General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. West Virginia State up 12 and with the basketball here. Lynn Abram, the big three a moment ago. Anthony Pittman from way out. Couldn't get it to drop and Jeremiah Moore just about had the rebound and then possible steal there, knocked it away and it will be Fairmont's ball. Zion Dobbs, Cole Von Handorf, Briggs Paris, Seth Yunkin, and Isaiah Sanders out on the floor at the moment for the maroon clad fighting Falcons of Fairmont State here, Sanders and he is fouled. Sanders was wanting to explode to the basket. Anthony Pittman has picked up his third foul. Pittman out on the floor with Glenn Abram. Jeremiah Moore. Bradley Lewis. And Dwayne Jones. And Fairmont loses the basketball. And here goes Pittman. After just being called for the foul, he's just going to Go right straight at them and score it. Anthony Pittman, that's his first basket of this second half. Puts State back up by 14. Pittman has 16 in the game. Seth Yunkin holds it. Backing in the paint. Boy, that is sweet. Yunkin scores it. He now has 15. 68-56. I believe Lewis stepped out of bounds. Check out Yunkin again there. This little sweet little hook shot there. So Ernest Jenkins will check in. Bradley Lewis heads out for the Yellow Jackets. Zion Dobbs brings it up for Fairmont. Falcons looking to carve away at this state lead. It's been up to 14. And here's a near steal by Pittman. Falcons get it back. Briggs Paris, and Paris has his shot blocked by Pittman. He almost had a steal. He gets a block. And then Sanders takes it away from Dwayne Jones, and Sanders driving and scoring. Big play there by Sanders, who now has 16 in the contest. The Fairmont's chopped it down to 10 here. Jeremiah Moore working there against Junkin will pull up with a jumper and nice play by Jenkins to keep it alive and then we're going to have a charge on State. (laughs) 
So the foul will go against Jeremiah Moore, his first, and that's team foul number five on West Virginia State. We break away here, a 10-point advantage for the Yellow Jackets over the Falcons on video productions. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. That's right. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. It's a 10-point game here with 9-17 remaining between West Virginia State and Fairmont State. And Fairmont in with a record of 15-2, 10-2, nationally ranked. Number two in the Mountain East Conference, State at 13-5 and 8-3. And Both teams with eight game winning streaks coming into this one. Shot from the corner and counted. A three-pointer for Briggs Paris. His fourth of the game. He has 15. And that state lead that once was at 14 is down to seven. Ernest Jenkins from the outside, and he'll bury a shot. Ernest Jenkins, his second bucket of the game. He had a three back in the first half. State goes back up by nine. Zion Dobbs negotiating in trouble and gets it to Sanders. Sanders back to Yunkin, and then Sanders heaves, and his shot wouldn't go. Yunkin made a great attempt there to try to tap it back up and in. Boy, he hit that floor hard. Here's Pittman. Weaving his way through all kinds of traffic. He's down. Yunkin's down. And here's a shot by Dobbs that won't go. Dobbs kept it alive. Gets it out to Von Handorf, who can't find the bottom of the net. Here's Pittman, who hit the deck hard on this end a moment ago. And Pittman will score. Anthony Pittman now with 18 in the game. And State goes back to a double-figure count here at 72-61. Zion Dobbs to Yunkin. Pittman nearly took it away, and then Yunkin dumps it down to Von Handorf. And Von Handor full score. He's got seven in the game now. And a whistle. Up off the floor, up off the bench, and on to the floor for State will come Noah Jordan, and Jeremiah Moore checks out. State leading it by nine. It's 70. 263. Dwayne Jones taking away. Here's Dobbs down the floor, and Dobbs lifting it up with the one hand. Couldn't get it to go. Sanders will be fouled. Dwayne Jones commits his first foul, and that is team foul number six on the Yellow Jackets. That sends. Sanders to the line. Sanders with 16. 
Harris has 15. Yunkin has 15. Seventeen. Now in the game for Sanders. Make it eighteen as he buries both free throws. Seventy-two, sixty-five. Anthony Pittman thought about the three, then darts in, and he will be fouled by Dobbs. That's going to be three on Dobbs, and that's team foul number three. So Anthony Pittman heads to the line. First trip to the stripe tonight. Eighty-four percent free throw shooter. Nineteen in the game for Anthony Pittman, the leading scorer. Zion Dobbs from the outside. Good looking shot, wouldn't go. Yunkin with the rebound and gets it to fall through. Briggs Paris, he had a good looking shot there, but it wouldn't fall, but Yunkin there for the rebound. From way out, Jenkins couldn't get it to drop. Yunkin snags the rebound. Fairmont State down seven. Chance to get a little closer. What a pass by Dobbs. Von Handorf couldn't quite find the handle, but he finds Paris, who delivers another three, his fifth of the game. 74 to 70. Abram. Getting it into the hands of Jones, who missed the runner. Battle underneath. Pittman scores and is fouled. Anthony Pittman. And he hits it. So back a seven point advantage now for State. And here's Pittman with a steal. Pittman on the move, slams it through. 79 70. We got Pittman for 25, 79, 70 game. Briggs Paris on the move. Foul going to be called. We've got a timeout here on the floor. Anthony Pittman soaring and stayed up by nine on video productions.
the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. At Tudor's Biscuit World, we use the freshest ingredients in our made-from-scratch biscuits. The biscuit and gravy platter. Hot and fresh biscuits. Made-from-scratch gravy. Now that's a meal. Served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World. Gino's introduces the Big Cheese, our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99. A blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella, parmesan, and provolone. Try Gino's Big Cheese Pizza for only $9.99. Nine-point lead for State. 4.44 to go in the basketball game. Two teams with eight-game winning streaks. Number two in the league, Fairmont, nationally ranked. State number four in the Great Mountain East Conference. Anthony Pittman with 25 in the game. Noah Jordan has 12. Fairmont, 10 from Sanders, or 18 from Sanders, 18 from Briggs Paris, and 17 from Seth Yunkin. And Briggs Paris is at the line. And he missed the free throw. And Sanders hits the deck here. We've got a jump ball situation. Yellow Jackets will have it. And a tough miss there for Briggs Paris. 91.7% free throw shooter. Anthony Pittman. He's got 25 points, but... He's taking care of business out there, <laughs> drying things up. Vermont showing a little bit of pressure here. And here goes Pittman. Zipping the pass off to Jenkins, back to Pittman. Thought about the three, now he'll go in and the ball stripped. Dobbs with it for the Falcons. Here's Sanders, long range three, and couldn't get it to go. We had the feeling for it, hit the back of the iron. Ernest Jenkins. Shot clock under 10. Jones goes to Jordan, and Jordan unleashes the three and hits it. His third of the game. Not much time left on the shot clock, and he releases and gives State an 82-70 advantage. On Handorf. In trouble. Gives way to Briggs Paris. And here's Dobbs, shot clock at five, off the glass and in. Big time play by Dobbs, who has six in the contest. Noah Jordan, and we're going to have a foul on Fairmont. They got Dobbs there, and that's going to be four on Dobbs. Jimmy Lieber. Yeah. Give it to Jenkins, who will send it in on the side. Jenkins to Glenn Abram. Abram fade away from three-point land. Couldn't get it to go, but Jenkins runs down the missed shot. The officials gathering. State leading it by 10 with 2.49 to go. Now Jenkins will be the trigger here as 
State sends it in. Anthony Pittman rifles and connects. What a game for Pittman. His third three-pointer of the game. And he puts State up by 13. Pittman now with 28 in the game on Handorf. Going to have to go to work here, and Abram is going to be whistled for a foul. Look here at the Anthony Pittman three-pointer. He had 14 at halftime, and he's got 14 at the moment here in the second half. So Abram has three fouls. State has eight as a team. Fairmont at the moment is sitting with five. Von Handorf at the line, and he swishes this attempt after missing those two earlier. A beautiful shot by Von Handorf. What a player. A lot of time left in this one. And boy, just another tough miss by Von Handorf. You know the type of kid he is. He'll be in there probably when they get back to Fairmont and be in the arena working on those free throws because, again, the kid is unbelievable at the line. 82.5. Briggs Paris is a 91% free throw shooter. 85-73 our score. And here is a shot from straight away. No good by Dwayne Jones. Zion Dobbs up the floor to Sanders. Sanders looking for a teammate. George Mangus in the game. Here's Sanders going to the hoop and acrobatic shot that wouldn't drop. Pittman, a beautiful pass from Pittman to Jordan. And he scores it and is fouled. What a pass by Pittman and Jordan. Mangus committed his second foul. Six on the Falcons. And Jordan connects. Three-point play, making it 88 to 73. Biggest lead of the game at 15. Von Handorf wanted to feed Yunkin with it. Yunkin keeps it alive, and Yunkin is fouled with 125 to go. Seth Yunkin. Tough sledding at the free throw line here for Fairmont. Ten of fifteen. State seven and nine at the stripe. Yunkin cannot get either to go through. Pittman, and he's stripped from behind by Sanders and fouled. Mangus checking in. Sanders going to come out. He's got two fouls. Yunkin out of the game. No check that. Sanders is not out of the game. And a good thing. He hits the three-pointer. Knocks it through. Look, he was going out, but it was Yunkin going out. And that makes it an 
76 game. 21 points for Sanders. He leads the way for Fairmont. Briggs Paris has 18. And Anthony Pittman with 28 for State and 18 for Noah Jordan. 109 to go. Again, an eight game winning streak on the line for both State and Fairmont in this contest. And right now, Brian Poor's team in the driver's seat for that to continue. Well, since the Mountainese Conference was formed, these teams have matched up 20 times. And it's been pretty much all Fairmont. State's won just twice. Well, they got an eight game winning streak going into this one, but they had an eight game losing skid against Fairmont coming in to this one here tonight. And again, 99th meeting all time between the teams. Anthony Pittman will be fouled by Sanders in a hurry. Third on Sanders. Eighth on the Fighting Falcons. Anthony Pittman at the line. Twenty nine points down for Anthony Pittman. Eighty nine, seventy six. And that went in and out. Shot on the way and good as Briggs Paris delivers. Another three for Paris. Six in the game. He has 21 in the contest and Pittman rifled up a three-pointer and he's fouled. Fouls on George Mangus, his third. 19 fouls on Fairmont now. Nine on the fighting on State. And Pittman at the line and connects. Pittman hits again. So State over 90 for the third time this season as Dobbs lands his first three of the basketball game. State had 100 earlier this season, 103 against Frostburg State. Sanders commits his fourth foul. So the Dobbs three-pointer makes it a 10-point game at 91-81. to 81. Abram at the line, knocks it through. Abram now in double figures with 10. And Abram hits both. And here's Dobbs, another three-pointer up. And Abram to Pittman. Pittman down the floor. Not sure if Tim Caning is playing it tight, but 12 point difference here. A little bit of difference in the game clock and the shot clock. Here is Pittman with the one handed jam. 33 for Pittman and a foul called. Sanders heaving up a shot. (laughs) 
When Abram with his fourth foul. Anthony Pittman. What a performance tonight. Sanders. Has 22 points, 23, and he's going to get another one here. And he knocks that one through, 24 points for Sanders. And that will do it, 95-84. Two great teams, great programs, and they battle here tonight, and State came in with an eight-game winning streak, as did Fairmont, and State not only extends the winning streak to nine, they snap a losing skid against Fairmont that had been at eight, and they win it by 11, 95-84. We'll recap it for you in a moment. You're watching live streaming coverage of Mountain East Conference men's basketball featuring the Yellow Jackets of West Virginia State here on Video Productions. ingredients in our made from scratch biscuits the biscuit and gravy platter hot and fresh biscuits made from scratch gravy now that's a meal served all day long and only available at Tudor's Biscuit World Gino's introduces the big cheese our supersized pizza piled high with extra cheese for only $9.99 a blend of three different cheeses mozzarella parmesan and provolone try Gino's big cheese pizza for only $9.99 Little General Stores has served our hometowns for decades, providing those essential needs for the road of life. The LG family goes above and beyond to ensure that your experience is an easy one. That's why they offer the LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks, coffee, and even discounts on fuel. Rest assured, you'll leave knowing they have your needs covered. And by the way, tell them hug sent you. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Happy Honda Days from all of us at Honda. Visit your local Honda dealer today or shop online. This is my kind of holiday. LG Rewards Card, a way to earn points for free drinks and even discounts on fuel. And by the way, tell them Hug sent you. 95-84, the final score of West Virginia State winning it over Fairmont. Two great teams, great programs, 
A lot of history, and State records the victory. They stop an eight-game losing streak against Fairmont, and they have now won nine in a row. Fairmont's winning streak of eight was stopped here tonight. State is now 14-5, 9-3 nine and three in the Mountain East Conference. Fairmont 15-3, and three, and now 10-3 and three in the Mountain East Conference. Fairmont will host UC on Saturday. State will be on the road to meet up with Frostburg State. Leaders here tonight for West Virginia State, Anthony Pittman, 33 points, 19 for Jeremiah Moore, 18 for Noah Jordan, and 11 for Glenn Abram. Isaiah Sanders, 24 points. Briggs Paris had 20, and Seth Yunkin finished with 17. And in the team stat department, State shot 53.7%. They nailed 11 three-pointers in the game here tonight. They were 12 of 16 at the free throw line. Fairmont State shot 47%, made nine three-pointers. They were 13 of 19 at the line. And West Virginia State records the victory by a final count of 95 to 84. So good one here tonight. Many thanks to our great crew. Led by the great Butch Mounts and Joe Mounts, Cade Burgess, Anthony Sprouse. This is Mark Martin, and we bid you a good night here from the beautiful Walker Convocation Center on the campus of West Virginia State University in Institute. Final again, 95-84 West Virginia State victorious. For our great crew, this is Mark Martin. We say so long from Institute All Games on video production, streaming live and archived on the video productions Facebook site. Tonight's game has been a sports presentation of video productions.